Thank you, Jay. I'm again, my name's Juwanza, I use he, him pronouns, and today I'm representing thousands of New Yorkers, thousands of people across this country, and the millions of us around the world who understand that make no mistake, this election in the United States of America in 2020 is of the greatest importance. We are dealing with a climate of white supremacists totalitarianism and it's being normalized by people like this man that just walked by by institutions like NBC for not holding the fascist in chief in the White House accountable for his thousands upon thousands of lies for his actions that have cost us hundreds of thousands of lives for his actions that have traumatized thousands of children at our border. How do you think they're gonna feel in 20 years? White supremacy and fascism, as Toni Morrison once wrote in 1995, that fascism is the succubus twin of racism. And the institutions in our society must be held accountable. They must hold the complexities of the moment that we are in. White supremacy breeds phenomena like voter disenfranchisement. White supremacy produces a culture of annihilation. President Trump and his administration has had us removed from the Paris agreements on the climate crisis, which they themselves were not sufficient. President Trump has had us removed from the World Health Organization in the middle of a global pandemic. And we have people in this country that refuse to acknowledge the moment that we're in. And that is why every single vote counts. Make no mistake, make no mistake, I am no bedfellow or friend of Biden nor Harris. I am a strong leftist with a powerful socialist critique of capitalism, of neoliberalism. However, I understand the dangers of fascism. I understand the importance of democracy and the fragility of our system today when we have a man who claims to be democratically elected, challenging the validity of elections, challenging the validity of a vote, challenging the safety of voting by mail in the middle of a novel pandemic. That is something we should all be deeply concerned about. I tell my friends on the left, choose your adversary. Do you want to fight the fascist who will gun you down in the street? Do you think what's happening in Nigeria today cannot happen in the States? Do you think what happened in apartheid South Africa cannot happen in the States? It is happening. So I demand that NBC and all of our media institutions step into the power of their profession and hold this fascist accountable. The thousands upon thousands, the millions, the billions of people on this planet charge you to do so. Thank you. Thank you.